post game with the Cal Baptist Lancers just defeated Western Oregon University 80 to 76 to win the 2018 NCAA West Regional title. We have head coach Rick Croy with us, as well as Jordan Heading and Kaladu Dioff, most outstanding player in the tournament. Coach, this is a very hard fought battle here tonight. First of all, congratulations on the title. What was this game like, both physically and mentally for this team? Uh, like, like we thought it would be. Um, we, we talked uh, as, a, as a team, as a family, that uh, it would be, the, b before we got up here, that it would be the team that competed the best night in and night out for 40 minutes would take this trophy home. And um, we bonded together. Uh, we've been tight all year. Uh, we've been together all year. And um, this, this was our best performance. And, and we knew it would take that tonight. Jordan, after the game, you get named to the all-tournament team. Congratulations on that. But you just looked absolutely gassed. What did this game take out of you? Oh, it took everything. They're an amazing team um, with amazing pressure, full court, doesn't stop all night. Um, but who cares? We won. <laughs> Kaladu leading the team, 23.7 rebounds in 34 minutes of play. At the end there, they decided to go a little bit smaller and give you a little bit more room to work with uh, on the post. How did that open up things for you in this game? It actually didn't really open anything up because they, they played it really sticky. They, they, every time I caught the ball, the whole team collapsed and, and just made the paint very sticky. So at the end, when they, when they went small, it was actually harder for me to get a layup or to get in there than when, when, uh, when they had the bigs on the court. Coach, maybe one of the red flags in this one looking forward, 19 turnovers against just eight on the other side. And that has been something that has plagued the team this year, averaging about two and a half more turnovers than your opponents on the season. How do you focus in on that and make sure that's in a little bit better shape for the Elite Eight? Uh, I think, you know, you know, the biggest thing is uh, go back to work and try and get better. But at the same time, our, our, uh, one of our things has been, you know, a great response. So uh, even, if, even if we make some mistakes offensively, staying together, uh, moving on to the next play, and although we haven't been great handling the basketball in terms of turnovers we've been in attack mode and our guys play with great confidence and we would take confidence over statistics every day getting to a point like this in a season it takes more than just physical ability what have been the intrinsics with this team well we we um we have a united university and we wanted to represent that we've got a, a president that um supports us at the highest level We've got a vice president um, that's there for us every day. We've got an athletic director that leads us. Uh, and we've and we got a group of guys that, that know they're extraordinarily blessed to represent CBU. And that's really what we wanted to do coming up here. And this win is for a lot of people. It's for CBU, it's for Riverside, and, and it's for the great warriors that we've had in our program from the time we started, the, the Ivan Pattersons, the Anthony Cosentinos, the Trayvon Williams, Jalon Wheelwrights, Jordan Justies. We've had so many great competitors. We've had such great senior leadership, um, and this senior leadership really honors our past senior leaders uh, in our program's short history. So um, we're just so proud to represent tonight, but um, the, the guys just, I've never had more fun coaching. Uh, I love competing with these guys and, and uh, looking forward to our next battle. So speaking of some of those people back home, we had about 200 people at a watch party tonight in the event center. What do you guys want to say to them? Just thank you so much for all your support. Um, I'm excited to see some videos of that because I was a bit of a nail biter and must have been a little loud in there, but just thank you so much for, for all your love and support. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Can't wait to come home and, and celebrate with you guys. So Cal, you know, you had some big rebounds for us. Um, and Jordan, you guys going down the stretch when there's you guys had a, had a play and then they came back. What's going through your minds through that? They're a tough team. They're a really tough team. I mean, I don't know how many times they hit a three when I thought the game was already over and then they came back in. So they, they never gave up. They kept playing. They're, they're really good and, and uh, props to them. They, they're a really hard playing team and, and I really respect them. Um, yeah, it's a tight game. Um, the whole way down the stretch so you're not thinking about too much but just trying to get as many stops and and trying to run through your offense and get as good of a look as you can down on the other end 
coach looking into next week, you're going to face some new opponents. How does that feel? Uh, we're excited. We're, we're just excited to keep competing, keep representing. And, uh, you know, like I said, our, our university is united, and that's what we wanted to be coming up here. And we know the next tournament that we're in, it'll be the same. It'll be the team that competes the best for 40 minutes, and we can't wait for that challenge. All right, congrats. Thank you.